If you were to tell poor young Crystal, the morning of the night before, that after the nerves and the promise and messages seeking amour, that with every hot date she would end up, stood up, ignored, or betrayed, with pizza and beer as her bedfellows, and no chance of her getting laid. She probably would have believed you. Such was her luck on the scene. Cold feet, voicemails, ghosting aplenty. Self-pity had become quite routine. But this time, it wouldn't be like that. Not this time, thinks Crystal. No more. Three dozen attempts had been thwarted, but she'd be damned if it would be four. No, tonight, something is changing between moments of wallow and pause. No, tonight our dear Crystal starts planning. The internet will rewrite the laws. With toothpaste attacking the hangover and the place now scrubbed to the bone, a stoic crusade begins churning, taking place on Crystal's iPhone. And so begins Project Renaissance, the mission to gain back lost time. No more flaky bartenders or dance floors. On a dating app, Crystal will shine. Good habits, she heard, breed good progress. So she leaves not a quantum to chance. In every conceivable metric, Crystal will utterly enhance. And while she is living her best life, her internet casts far and wide. Suitors start filling her inbox. Excitement grows harder to hide. Which brings us to later that evening. Date secured and renaissance fulfilled. The dating app worked to perfection. She stands now, defiant, strong, thrilled. The flickers of nerves were expected while waiting for her date to call. No, it's going to plan. It's exciting. Crystal was going to have a ball. You probably should have warned Crystal the morning of that awful night that after the work and the scheming, the plan still wouldn't go right. Although she had made herself sexy, a lady single and hot, it seemed she'd been too successful because the app thought that she was a bot. In trying to make her plan foolproof, young Crystal made two big mistakes. Number one, too much perfect is suspicious. Number two, sometimes you've just got to wait. unable to take your call. Please leave your message after the tone. Hey, um, it's, it's Katie here. I'm so, so, so sorry about last night. I completely forgot about it, and then my phone died, and the metros were messed up, and, uh, sorry, I'm rambling. Basically, I would really like to meet up with you. Maybe we could get pizza.